What is up guys and welcome to the video. Today we are doing a few more things that we haven't done in Okinawa before we get out of here in a few weeks, doing some more bucket list items. We went to Okinawa World already today, which was really cool. It was like a cave under the ground. But I decided not to video that and just enjoy it with the family. You gotta take a break sometime. And then we went to some pretty cool Japanese gardens and now we're gonna do a little bit of history and we're gonna go see Hacksaw Ridge. A lot of you may know about Hacksaw Ridge from the movie that came out last year. It was a pretty good movie and it was based on a true story and it is an absolutely true story and here in Okinawa at Hacksaw Ridge was one of the bloodiest battles of the whole war and the whole Pacific Front in World War II. And it was also really famous for the whole Desmond Doss story about him not carrying a gun in a battle and climbing Hacksaw Ridge multiple times and bringing back injured people. He got the Medal of Honor from that. And we are not far from Hacksaw Ridge right now. Already got an awesome view of the city. I'm out of breath from running from them up the hill, but we're at a castle ruin now that is pretty close to Hacksaw Ridge. I actually have no idea where Hacksaw Ridge is around here, we're just trying to find it. And I've actually heard that if you've seen the movie and saw how it looked on there, you're gonna be a little bit disappointed to see it in real life. More amazing views, look it down on the west side of Okinawa. You can see there's a clearing over there with an airstrip, and that should be Futenma. The further we go, the more Habu warning signs we keep seeing. Coming down off of the top, I think the ridge was actually back behind us. I think we have to go back and find it. But I was told there's a lot of graves down here if you come down this little trail. There's a sign kind of talking about the battle, kind of from the Japanese perspective. The 2nd Battalion of the Japanese 32nd Regiment led by Captain so on and so on. If you want to read the whole thing, feel free to pause it and do so. And these are all graves, but I don't think they're really related to the whole Hacksaw Ridge. The hillside just opened up and look at all the graves. Right here in the side of this wall is a tunnel that they used during the war. All blocked off now, but pretty crazy to think about. I was reading an article about Hacksaw Ridge before we came here, and it said that something like 44.6% of all civilians that lived in the city of Eurosa lost their lives during the Battle of Okinawa. Back up here on top, just climbed up from this graves area, and actually this area right here where we were standing earlier looking at this view, looking at Futenma, is Hacksaw Ridge. This right here is what was Hacksaw Ridge. All overgrown today, completely greened up. But that is crazy to think of what kind of battle went down here. This right here, looking north, is where the Americans were coming from during the war. Up this cliff and then met with Japanese resistance on top of this area right here. They even have some pictures from the movie on the sign that they have up here. Zoom in so you guys can pause and read that if you would like to. So we can't even really get a good look at the Hacksaw Ridge without being down on the street down there farther away. So I'm gonna go grab the drone out of the car and fly that so you guys can actually get a look at this place.
can see it's completely different than from what the movie looked like. Still pretty crazy. It's a pretty crazy cliff, but the movie was shot in Australia and uh, the cast actually did visit Japan and visit this site just to kind of get an idea of what it was like, but not where the movie was shot. Now we're down here in an area still up top on the Hacksaw Ridge, but there was tunnels that were built into the mountain that the Japanese used during the war. There's been lots of shrine gifts that have been left here at the entrance and you can't go down in them anymore. Check out this other entrance. It's kind of eerie being here and seeing this kind of stuff. To know what happened here in 1945 is just crazy. War is obviously never a good thing, but it's interesting to visit these sites and to see the history firsthand and not just read it or watch it in a movie. It's History is something to obviously learn from so that we don't make those mistakes again. But here in Okinawa, at the Battle of Okinawa, there was over 150,000 casualties between the Japanese and the Allies. It's pretty crazy to think about and really put that in perspective. If you happen to be in Okinawa and visiting Hacksaw Ridge and you are hungry and it's about dinner time, there is one place that this is gonna be our first time trying, but all the reviews I've heard are really good about it. Just down the road is a Rinkrin, also known as the Garlic House. So we're gonna head over there and eat some dinner and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Things just got real really quick. Beef garlic steak, deep fried mashed potatoes, garlic pizza, and Mason eating some of his plain white rice with soy sauce that he loves. Deep fried mashed potatoes with cheese. What kind of amazingness is this? Leaving a Rincrin now and look at that piece of candy. Mark IV Supra. Looking really clean. Had to make a quick stop at the auto box to get some car wash soap, because tonight is customs night. Last time I got some of this Japanese car wash soap, it didn't work very well. But this stuff looks pretty good, kind of kind of like the stuff I used to use. So hopefully this will work. Auto box was about to close, or I would have spent more time in there, but we're gonna get out of here now. Nice Mark III Super now over here. Pretty cool Hyas and a Land Cruiser. We are back at the house now, but since it is customs night tonight, I'm gonna officially end this video because I gotta get the car cleaned up and ready for customs night, which will be in a separate video. I hope you guys did enjoy getting to see Hacksaw Ridge today. If you're tuning in to my channel for the first time because you just wanted to see what Hacksaw Ridge is like, I live in Japan, I'm stationed in Japan with the military. I live here in Okinawa, Japan, and I make videos all the time about cars and other types of things to do in Japan and Okinawa. So if you're new to the channel, stick around because I'm sure you'll see more that you like. Like coming up next, customs night. You'll see that video very shortly, but for now, I'm gonna get out of here. I will see you guys very soon in the next video. As always, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.